Hello guys and welcome back once again to Sussex Squad Forever. And first of all, I take this opportunity to congratulate Meghan Markle for receiving the Woman of Vision Award of the year 2023. As we've all seen, Meghan Markle was presented the award yesterday evening at New York. I know we all saw how Meghan looked so amazing in the outfit that she wore during the award. And I don't know my people if you people came across such a clip when Meghan, Harry and Doria were coming out of their car. Please kindly listen to this. I don't know if you all heard about the person who shouted telling Megan how does he feel being between two broken families and kindly first allow me take you through an article that was written by Kezia and the title starts who is the British crisis actor screaming outside of the Sussex's event this man has this is the second time that he has been spotted shouting at Meghan and Harry. He did the same thing when Meghan and Harry were last at New York. And the article states, So, this is the second time that I've seen something like this has happened when the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are entering a public event. It happened last December too, when they went to a Rift of Hope gala in New York. And then it happened last night when they were going in the back entrance to the Vision of Women Awards in New York. What happened? A British accent paparazzo has belowed some time, something nasty about how Meghan is ruining the royal family. Last night, the same guy screamed out saying, and I quote, Megan, how do you feel about being part of two broken families? This is totally insane. And this could be true that he is truly from British, simply because what does a tabloid from British, what is he doing at such an event in the New York if it's not to carry out false information so that they can be able to go use them in their magazines? just like what they are used in doing just like what the tablets back in the uk media are good at doing and that is always putting mega down and they have succeeded and they will never succeed simply because megan knows what he, she is doing and we the people who know megan we know what capable of megan is and we know what she does it's always for the benefit of everyone First of all, I also congratulate us once again simply because Megan is doing, she is really doing a lot to the community and the society at large. And I'm so proud and glad simply because she is being recognized. People can see the good work that Megan Markle is doing, the Duchess of Sussex. People are able to see the outcome of the good things that she is able to impact people with and this is really really a bravo and we will continue shining megan keep on going you are gorgeous you are good and we love you no matter what may come your way we are forever going to support you and the title continues the article continues to say this dude is some kind of paparazzo crisis actor and it's hilarious to hear american paparazzi shush him some people in the Sussex squad try to ID the guy as Harry Ruta, a dude photographer, videographer for the Express. Ruta is on Twitter, though he denied that he is the one doing it. He even shot footage from his perspective of the shorty guy in December. The person that has been spotted and that they claim that it's him tweeted and said twitter doing its thing again here is a clip of the actual person shouting at harry and megan he did the same thing in december and shouts at them 
at other events. It's not me. Have been in New York for three years. Didn't say a word to them. Both just filmed what what was happening. So the person being accused by some members of the squad is her name being Harry Ruta has come out clean claiming that it is not him and for sure we will get to the point and clear view and we will for sure know who this person is simply because he just looks like a journalist for hire just to always cause chaos wherever harry and megan are the article continues to say so I really, I would really like to know which British publication hired this guy to scream about Meghan destroying, ruining the royal family as she goes about her business in America. While I know he's doing it to be a nasty troll, it's also really funny because it's just so pathetic. Like the British tabloids are in league with the Windsor and they are all thought it will be a splendid idea to hire a crisis actor to stand outside of of all Meghan and Harry biggest New York nights and scream about how Sussexes are ruining the royals. This is really, really hilarious because it now clearly tells us that that person is hired and most probably by the British tabloids, simply because it's not the first time that this person is being spotted doing the same thing, shouting almost the exact words whenever Meghan and Harry are in big events in the UK. This is really, really bad. Simply because we know, we the Sussex squad members know very well that what they are trying to do, it's just to catch up the attention and just distract an event and of which it's possibly not going to happen. Simply because we know the decision that Meghan and Harry, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex made is both right for everyone, most especially for Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet Diana. And that each and everything they do, it's always for the best of their family. So this one comes to our conclusion that this paparazzo or this photographer or this videographer, wherever he's from, and we know that he's from back the UK, has been hired to cause chaos, to cause attention that he is never going to get simply because the fact that he still shouted, the event still continued. Megan was still crowned. And the award was still presented to her as the Woman of Vision Award, the year 2023. And uh, this is very, very unfortunate for the British tabloid media or for the UK tabloid media. If this is what they are good at doing and if this is what they think that is best for them and that they might be able to tarnish Meghan and Harry's name in that way, they have failed they have failed as much as we know they will be able to publish their papers write false information about harry and megan but still we know very well that they have failed simply because people love harry and megan and we will always stick to that decision they make and that we will forever be their number one fan and allow me take you through some comments that people tweeted after reading Kezier's article. Somebody goes ahead and say, I heard that last night in one of the videos. He was really loud, but the others around him told him to shut up. The depths they will go to harass Meg and Harry and that there is nothing he is saying of importance simply because he can he cannot manage to ruin the event this is very good whoever managed to tell him this truly did it well and he deserves to be told 
and shouldn't try such a thing next time. Somebody also goes ahead and says, the whole point of yelling like that is to get attention, creating a viral video moment and stir it up. Controversy for his papers and right endless clickbait. Ignoring them is the best option. And I'm glad people told him to shut it. It was a great night for Harry, Meghan and Doria. That's all matters to us. This is very, very sweet. This is very, very nice. And uh, it was indeed a happy night for both Harry, Meghan and Doria at large. Somebody also goes ahead and says, My favorite moment is when the U.S. photographers, the pups, yell at him to shut up and live there at shouting at the man, I love New York. This was so nice. This showed the support that the New York City and the photographers and the paparazzis back in the UK support what Megan does. And this also shows that they love Megan and they support the award event that was taking place. We, the Sussex squad members, also support what whatever event took place yesterday and we are so proud of whatever megan is doing and we know that he she will continue to do the best and support the women and girls in the society and to always show them the directive and the correct path but personally i was so glad and proud of the event that took place yesterday what i'll tell megan it's congratulations and keep it up keep winning keep shining and show us the way simply because most of us look up to you for you are our icon and thank you so much for tuning into our today's podcast kindly don't forget to subscribe like comment and support stay tuned to our next video have a lovely time guys bye